Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part two of the Second Great Mamluk War. I'm your host, Galvin, where we need to start digging in and uh, trying to resiege some of these lands in the south. We're managing to keep the uh, Mamluks at bay in the north. 154 out of 199. I mean, come on, Kilwa. You, you, you can't keep it up forever. Really? Yeah, 13 to 17. It's not looking good for you. Well, still better than my last king, I suppose. Speaking of, I really should consider hiring some people. Problem is here, I only really have a choice of one or three. Darn. Yeah, one or three, and hey, we actually have a two. This guy is good. National unrest, very important right now. Uh, better relations over time doesn't hurt. I'm fine running a bit of a thing. Minus three national unrest, considering where uh, some of the rebels are getting. Not going to hurt. Not going to hurt. Kokoto is the only one. Uh, at this speed... 625, so like eight years. Damn. Long time. You haven't really made any progress. Go intercept them while they're weak. Kill them all. There. Had to send them packing. Only way to send a message, really. So, 59%. And suddenly, this is only worth 97. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know where they're heading. Holy fuck, that's a lot of Mamlukian peasants. Alright, 158 out of 197. Every bit of war score we get here helps. Adalan nationalists, not good. I mean, I'm pretty certain I can take these guys. I don't know about the guys in Cairo, though. They, in the recent Art of War patch, I believe they also gave peasants cavalry and cannons. Which slightly makes them a little more powerful. Yeah, you're 20 war exhaustion, you're capped. You don't even want to continue fighting. But you're just kind of forced at this point. Kilwa wants peace? Accept. I can accept that, yeah, great. 71%. Yeah, I doubt I'm getting much more. I'll take it. And it's only, what, 92% aggressive expansion? Or overextension? It's only my entire soul to make cores. Alright. That's the advancement in religion. No. It's about the worst thing I could do right now. Increase the control of the spice. The spice producing province is at least three. Probably not, no. But we have done significant damage to the Mamluks. Not only is their capital now under control of peasants, and Syria will probably break free. Now, I hate to question it. How much debt are they in? 883. This came out of that surprisingly healthy. And I guess they had a lot of debt problems perhaps before I declared the first war. Probably overstating the importance of the war and building their debt up. Alright, so we do have some rebels that need uh, taken care of. Holy shit, five shock. And suddenly, we're going to win it big time. All right, good. Ooh. Oh, yeah, one out of two leaders. Oh, hello. Conquer problems on the Mamluks is good. I'll say that much. And having actual decent military tradition doesn't hurt. 
All right, so we have the Egyptian Patriots and the Canary Patriots. Egyptian Patriots, I'm actually tempted to do something about. It's 375 to slow them down, um, which isn't great. It's going to happen pretty quickly, and let's face it here. I don't think I can really, really fuck with that right now. Harsh treat that shit. Just harsh treat it. That buys me six months. <laughs> I'm not asking for a lot when I am buying six months with 375. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm just, I don't have many options at this point. All right, there we are. Trying to get myself a little time, you know? Just a little time. I think what I need to do is autonomize like a bitch. I'm going to have to wuss, wuss out on controlling these provinces. Yep, not a damn not a damn chance. Fuck it. I didn't even need to spend that money or that that 375 fucking points cuz I just decided to wuss out. Oh no, it's still Still problems, huh? Balsh tax. So maybe it was worth it. Maybe. Okay. Get those two made into a core. Alright, what else do we have to deal with? Canary Patriots. They uh, want to defect to Yao, so you guys... Go to Kokoto. Kotoko. Whatever. Kokoto. The home of the finest cocaine. Oh, yeah. yeah. We should probably get some help on them. <laughs> Just to make sure. There we are. Alright. You guys good? Go try and oppress some people a bit over here. Yeah, autonomy decreasing before was a bad call. And again, I didn't really expect to go this far with uh, my conquests. I'm surprised that I haven't gotten a really nice, like, event. It's just like, ooh, the Copts have returned to Alexandria. 0%. How close am I from it? Let's see. We got 2% to counter the base value. Then we've got 2% to counter on accepted culture, which should hopefully fade. And we're short by 1.4%. Okay. So assuming this turns the Egyptian into an accepted culture, which it fucking better. That's a lot of shit worth it. Friggin' there. There. Almost there. Mercenary bands raid Luanda. Yeah, that sucked. Terrorized by mercenaries. Plundered in war. And a freaking colonist. Colonists arrive in one year. Christ, takes forever to sail the Cape. Yeah, Advancement of Religion Act. Nope. Introduce church taxes. Definitely nope. Stamp Act is still useless. Okay, good luck. Fifteen months from now. Lower taxes on the Mamluks. Which will just be hilarious. Their, their country is breaking. Oh, fucking hell. I, what? Why is this happening? Hmm. I don't know. Some hell of a nasty event, though. Yeah, the diplomatic insult I've had forever. It's finally going away. I managed to use it to, to good effect, though. Alright. Man, you guys are in fucking tell civil war, lol. Alright, so we've got them taken care of. Putting troops in Kokoto seem to do pretty good for slowing them down. Those guys are, like, six months out from that. 
These guys might... Nah, they're, they're, they're good. They'll hold. It'll hold until we get the cores down. And then the accepted culture thing swings in and we're fine. Ignorance is bliss. I do not want to even remotely touch any more uh, unrest than I have to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. Peasants are just slowly sieging down Damietta now. Or Rosetta. I could build the Suez Canal, you know? <laughs> well, if I had the tech. Oh no. My advisor died. Eh, it's PowerPoints. Hard to argue with PowerPoints. Production shifted. Stifled, sorry. Eh, seems it'll be a raise in prices. I'll have I have to do something about this at some point. Cause it, it's basically equal. There. Snap down on inflation a little bit. Good. Alexandria. Egyptian is now an accepted culture. Unsurprising. So we can actually convert this, right? 166 months? Deal. Oh, we have no missionaries to send right now, right? Yeah, good. Alright, so we have managed, I think, to avert a rebellion. It tells us the spice trade. Congratulations. Since these are cores, I hope they're actually converting uh, a little bit of power here. 10% of the trade powers, yeah. Alexander is going to become our prime trade port here. Delnia. The new node is richer, and you have the ability to generate more power there. So that's the problem. I can't generate that much power in Alexandria, despite owning as many of the provinces as I do. Venice and everyone else is busy competing here, mostly with sending power downstream. All right. At least for now, things are good. You know? Nothing's horrible. Unlock one more idea. Smithian economics. And reduce inflation cost. Probably should have waited for that. But oh well. And then we get diplomacy, yearly legitimacy, and everything is golden. I mean, we're, we did pretty good here. Unfortunately, we still need one, two, three, four, five. Oh, for fuck's sakes, my rulers do not live past 30. That's one good redundancy council, though. Uh, we don't need that. Right now. If, if it was later in the Regents' Council, it's like, yes, free legitimacy. Fucking shit, though. Also, we're now at negative stability. That needs to be the first thing cured. <laughs> Jeez. Boost to one stability. There we are. Yeah, Alexandria, hardest one to convert. 92 months, but we can do it. All right. I'm, I'm sad that I haven't gotten, like, some kind of special events, like, ooh, the cops have retaken Alexandria. I think I have to convert it or something first. I don't know. Hard to say. If I, I really can't commit with only 10% of the trade power. Like, I have control 269 so far. Then again, I mean, what do I lose here? I start dragging 100% forward. I believe. Yeah, okay. We'll try. I'm sure this is a terrible mistake, though. I actually probably shouldn't have sent it from Ethiopia. I have Ethiopia so well secured for myself. I should probably just try and collect as much as physically possible here, rather than transferring money forward to Alexandria, where I'm probably losing money on it. I've increased the amount by two that I earn here, and dropped, like, a ton. <clears throat> like, I'm going to send stuff here from Alexandria forward anyway. 
I should recall. Why am I sending it to Zanzibar? Frickin' A. Zanzibar is not where I want to go. Yeah, steer trade that way. God. I should collect from, uh, yeah, trade here. There, I'm earning 7.14 there. And I'm earning 3.89 there now. Good, so I barely cut my own earnings by doing that. Barely. And actually, I think I managed to start gaining cash. I'm not certain if I want to transfer it forward or collect it here. I think I want to just collect as much as physically possible. Yeah, I think I want to try and collect as much as possible before Alexandria. <clears throat> Good. Alright, that works. Alright, so all the cores are in place. I think we're in pretty good shape, actually. Unfortunate Regency Council means we can't declare any wars, though. Which I guess I'm okay with. It sucks, but what what you're gonna do, really? Man. HRE, it's Foreman. It's Foreman, I tell ya. <laughs> Trying to get any amount of fucking trade power in this note is impossible. Ugh. Like, I'll probably go beyond just conquer every friggin' Alexandrian province. Disagreeing advisor. Probably except Cyprus and Crete. Though, Crete is a uh, very good place. <clears throat> Conversion in Bagrami and Kokoto. Good. So now we endure the process of converting Alexandria. I'm just glad we have it. Now the Mamluks can't interfere with, uh, you know, our bishopry anymore. It's good for us, as we rise to power in Africa. Thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off.